Today, people increasingly use videos instead of text to communicate information in forms like lecture videos, how-to videos, vlogs, and more. In fact, people watch one billion hours of videos per day on YouTube alone. Videos provide information both auditorily and visually, but the visual content in videos is not accessible to blind and visually impaired audience members. Traditionally, to make videos accessible, professionals create audio descriptions that describe the visual content in a video. For example, a wire cheese cutter slices through a balloon sculpture. However, audio descriptions are rarely available for user-generated videos. Despite the lack of audio descriptions, 12 blind and visually impaired people who we interviewed still regularly use YouTube for a wide variety of tasks, including keeping up with the current events, learning how to dance, and even repairing appliances. All participants mentioned that they searched for videos that were already inherently accessible or understandable from the audio alone without additional description of the visual content. For example, a more accessible video may narrate each step of a chocolate chip cookie demonstration. In a medium bowl, we are whisking together about 11 and a half ounces of all-purpose flour and a solid tablespoon of kosher salt. While a less accessible video may only play background music or only visually demonstrating the steps. Interview participants reported that they evaluated videos to be accessible or inaccessible based on properties of the original video, including audio features such as presence of speech and informative language, and visual features such as infrequent visual changes and simple visual content, and also audiovisual features such as the description of visual objects, description of on-screen text, and few visual references. But, finding accessible videos with these properties can be tedious and time-consuming. Participants reported that they had to use trial and error, clicking on a video, watch a portion of that video, and then returning to the search page if the video was inaccessible, then repeating the process until they find an accessible option. To help people easily identify accessible videos, we present seven metrics and corresponding algorithms to automatically assess video accessibility, then augment a search interface with accessibility metrics to let people filter out inaccessible content. So we ask two research questions in our paper. First, can our seven video accessibility metrics indicate video accessibility as perceived by blind and visually impaired users? Second, Will augmenting a search interface with our video accessibility metrics improve video search for blind and visually impaired users? To see if our seven metrics indicated accessibility, we collected accessibility ratings from blind and visually impaired users for 60 videos. A regression analysis indicated a statistically significant relationship between a video's accessibility and our proposed metrics. The percentage of speech alone contributed to over 40% to the accessibility rating. We also created a video search interface augmented with our video accessibility prediction and metrics and evaluated this interface in a user study of eight blind visually impaired users. Participants unanimously preferred the metrics and filter interface when searching for videos. They tried 54% fewer videos and spent 40% less time finding a satisfying video compared to using the original YouTube interface. Participants were really excited to use this tool, and we are now actively working on deploying it. In the future, we will use our metric to give video authors and audio describers feedback on what portions of the video need further descriptions. Also, video accessibility ratings in our study were rated subjectively by blind users, and there might be information that they are not aware of missing. We are investigating the differences between their perceived accessibility and objective accessibility of videos. Finally, we are deploying this tool as a browser extension for YouTube to find out what impact this tool will have in the long term. Check out our paper to learn more about what makes videos accessible, automated video accessibility metrics, and our augmented video search interface. Thank you.